Toradora, my absolute favourite anime. I've loved it ever since I found it back in 2014. I've watched it countless times and forced anyone I could find to sit down and watch it with me so I could spread it around a bit. I've read the manga, I own it on DVD, I adore it. So imagine my excitement when three years after originally seeing and becoming obsessed with it, I discovered that there was actually a game. An official continuation to the story of the anime in game form, out on the PSP. Needless to say, I was on eBay in a tenth of a second to find this a beauty. Toradora Portable is more or less a slice of life simulator. You talk, choose options, talk, move around a little bit, talk. It's basically as basic as a game can possibly be. It's more of an interactive book than anything, so be prepared for a lot of reading. Also, be prepared for the same loop of music. You interact with characters and slowly work through the story. So for you to truly understand my opinion of this game, you need to understand I am 100% the market that they were selling this for. Fans like me are more or less the only people that would buy a PSB text scrolling simulator for a rather obscure anime which only ever had one season and a cult following. They knew what they were making here. A game for fans, because fans would be the only people who would drive sales for a game like this. So why? Please, someone explain why. Why do you, they start the game off by giving us, aka Ryuji, amnesia? Why? You madman. What have you done? Let me explain why you would use amnesia as a storytelling device. It's a way to explain to the audience, catch them up and reveal to them piece by piece in an either dramatic or elongated way over the story to show them past events, reveal stuff about characters, or to catch new people up. It's a storytelling device which is used to slowly reveal information to teach it to the audience as the characters in the story are learning about it as well. Most of us hate it because of its abundance in storytelling. So here's my biggest problem in a game like this. I was personally okay with this type of game. I love Toradora enough to want to play through it and experience its new story. But what I wasn't excited about was spending hours and hours rather than learning new stuff about the characters I loved to be slowly spoon-fed information I already knew because I and everyone who would have bought this game had already seen the anime. You literally had one singular job which was to give us a sequel to the story we loved, to show us what happened to our favourite characters in the future. Not retell the same story in a mind-numbing way through endless dialogue boxes. This is a massive issue I have with specifically anime movies that are sequels to seasons or stuff like that. I've seen it so many times. We are your target audience. The only reason someone would pick up a PSP game called Toradora would be because they love the show. I would bet it would be less than 10% of the total people buying this game are new to it. So why create a story that was tailor-made for that 10%? It's dumb and obnoxious and impossibly frustrating and upsetting that I and many other fans were more or less cheated out of a quality continuation of our story because some guy in the boardroom was like, Let's give Ryuji, one of the best characters who the audience really relates to and cares about, let's give him amnesia so we can uh, retell the players the information uh, they already know and just frustrate them the whole time because all they want to see is Ryuji and Tiger and see how that relationship is like. <sighs> so let's stop that from happening and uh, completely make it all really unnatural and weird. I love amnesia. Who wrote this? Because it sure as hell wasn't the same lady who wrote the anime. And if it was... What happened to you? Did you catch the same sickness as JK Rowling? The one hit wonder sickness? 